give me an example of working with a difficult client. This is a very practical interview question because if you are working with a client facing and day to day that too if, if the client is hard not to crack then your job becomes very difficult on day to day basis. When we say client is a difficult client, whether the client is having a higher expectation or there is a different behavioral pattern than we have or you may not be very open or uh, the client may not be providing all the information which you are required or you may not be open to talk to you more often. With this all these situations we may feel that this client is very difficult to handle. Now, how will you handle this kind of situation as a tester? That is where the good communication skills, good talking skills, understanding skills, gathering skills will really helpful here. Because we are as a tester, we are trying to help the client. That is the message we should pass on to the client. Because we should not waste the time of the client. Because client time is very important and we should not uh, spend too many hours of uh, their time just to gather, collect information or talking. That is not going to help. Within a short span, have a meeting, gather as much as information. Then you will also be happy and we can also get it done. So we should build ourselves that kind of skills in order to deliver the things on time so that the, so that client will be very happy on our uh, work. Otherwise, the client will always be difficult one. Should build rapport with the client by having the regular connect, by helping the client in a different perspective on day-to-day -day basis. How can you bring more value addition to the client? Then definitely client will also help us when there is a requirement. So when we take all these actions, then the results always will be positive when we are having a right uh, communication skills, right way of talking, right rapport. And definitely we can uh, solve this uh, behavioral issue or uh, we can solve this uh, problem very easily. That's how we should answer for this question as well. Working with a difficult developer. Again, this is very difficult question because normally the developer is also one of the stakeholder for a given tester. The, it may happen that developer may be unhappy because of various reasons. Maybe the sometimes certain developers may be very rude. Their behavior patterns also will be very different. Sometimes developers will be very unhappy with the kind of uh, deliverables which we are making by our tester. The quality deliverables may be in terms of test cases, uh, reviews, it may be the defects which we are logging, maybe we are not logging the quality defects or we are not providing uh, enough detailed instructions in your defects. Maybe because of that, uh, you may be finding uh, uh, difficult to handle. It could be very other reasons as well. Now, based on the situation which you have in your organization, you should be able to explain one or two instances. Now, the task is, uh, how can you manage the developer? I have taken a certain example here is in terms of the quality deliverables you are making, uh, especially related to defects. Maybe because of that, uh, he's very unhappy and he's trying to reject all the defects which you are logging. Now, what you should do? You should have a conversation with the developer one on one, understand why developer is very unhappy with you. What is really looking from you? What is the expectation from you? Maybe once you have one on one, 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 on one with him and uh, get as much as information from him, then put a action plan, put a action plan and uh, put a thought process. How can we solve all the questions uh, which a developer is having it? Then start implementing one by one. Maybe in this situation, it is more of uh, developers are rejecting your defects because of lack of information or not having a detailed information, I have the checklist. However, we say defect is locked. That means you should follow each and every information which is present in the checklist. If all the information which we dump into the defect, then one will say that is a quality defect. Means by providing all the info information, that is how uh, if you do it, then your developer will be very happy because he is getting enough information in the defect where he is not going to reject your defects because of lack of information. This is how we should handle a difficult developer because this is an example, I have provided one example. You can have your own uh, different examples in your real time situation. You might have faced many situations like this where a uh, developer is very unhappy. Definitely you, you can give a lot of examples related to your real time situation. Next question is, can you give me an example where you find yourself working with your 
test manager or test lead is very difficult this is again a difficult question to answer because in any behavioral question or any questions in that matter real time questions you should not talk about any negative things you have to be very pra uh, practical you have to be very positive you have to be very constructive in nature you should not throw any negative remarks about your test lead or test manager or anybody in that matter you may feel that your uh, test manager or test lead is very difficult to handle maybe because of various reasons the reasons could be goodness they have or uh, their behavioral pattern may be different maybe they are having a higher expectation or they may be certain test lead test manager may have lack of people skills management skills even certain people may have lack of testing skills as well sometime uh, test lead and test manager may not be listening to you or maybe because of that uh, you may be very unhappy where you find very difficult to handle this test manager and test uh, lead as well now how will you take care of this situation that is a interview question so if you just blindly say uh, i'm going to handle in this way no interviewer will going to accept it you have to put forth your problem first example uh, in this case i have put in here is high expectation maybe expectation is not realistic one now how will you handle this situation maybe you should put a detailed plan with a detailed data points i have a one on one with your test manager test lead with the enough data points why you are feeling that your test lead and test managers are unrealistic unless if you are not put forth all the data points your test lead and test manager may not agree in order to handle your test lead and test manager you should go with enough data points you have to go with enough scenarios then only you can handle your test manager and test lead it is how you should answer in your interview that these are the things i have taken care i set up a one on one i made up enough data points i have put in my thought processes i am able to convince uh, my test lead and test manager because of that i could be able to handle my test manager and test manager or test lead very easily on day to day basis